Hi everyone, you're watching Campus France Live. Thanks a lot to be there with us today. And we're going to talk about higher education in France. And today we will be introducing Excelia and giving you further information on the bachelor and MSc programs in tourism and hospitality and the international BBA program in Paris. And we're going to talk about the teaching and learning method of this French business school to talk about all the subjects and to answer all your questions that you can begin to ask on the chat section. I'm very pleased to welcome Pascal Capellari. Hi. Hey, how are you? You're the director of Applied School, Excelia Tourism and Hospitality School, Excelia Digital School and Excelia Academy. Uh, with you, we have Karine, Caroline O'Neill. Hi. Hello, everyone. You're an instructional designer. And we are also with Bogdan Dumitru. Hi. Hello, everybody. You're a bachelor student. And to conclude, we are with Muit Shrotia. Hi. Hello, everyone. You're an alumni and CEO and founder of Pralip. You can begin to ask all your questions if you have questions about Excelia Business School. But let's begin with a quick introduction. Uh, first of all, can you tell us a few words, Pascal, about Excelia? Yes, um, thank you. Uh, so Excelia is a group of uh, 4,500 students located on uh, uh, four sites, indeed. Uh, I'm sorry. We are just having a little Skype interview, yes. but that will be okay in a, in a few seconds. Yeah. OK, it's OK? Yes, okay. it's OK, sorry. Uh, so we are a group of uh, 4,500 students. Uh, and um, we have uh, four sites, so La Rochelle, uh, Tours, and Orléans, and Paris for the BBA program. And uh, our school has been created in uh, uh, 1988, so 33 years ago now. And we are amongst the top 1% business school in the world. Uh, our business school is accredited by AACSB, uh, Equis, and uh, accredited MBAs. So this is uh, to introduce uh, uh, Excelia. And that's the different accreditation and recognition of the diplomas. Do you have other accreditation and uh, recognitions? Yes, of course, we have uh, for the Excelia Tourism and Hospitality School, the accreditation of uh, the World Tourism Organization. So we are the only one school in France to have been accredited by uh, United Nations World Tourism Organization. We have the accreditation TEDQUAL, Tourism Education Quality. And we are also, uh, uh, we have also the accreditation, of course, of the French Ministry. And in terms of rankings, are you processing? Yes, we, have, uh, we are very proud because our, uh, we strongly uh, work to, uh, to be ranked in, uh, now in the top 15 schools That's in France. And uh, regarding the Bachelor in Tourism and Hospitality, uh, we are amongst the top 10. And for the BBA program with uh, a four years degree, uh, with two years uh, abroad, uh, we are uh, the second uh, best uh, program uh, as, as a BBA in France. Where? So we are quite proud of our ranking and we are also ranked in the Financial Times among the, one of the um, most uh, 60 uh, best schools in the world. We're going to focus in a few seconds uh, in the different uh, programs that you offer. But first, uh, we're going to ask Bogdan and then Mohit about uh, um, their background. Uh, Bogdan, can you tell us where you're from and why you decided to study in France and at Excelia? Yes, yeah, so um, I'm from Romania. Uh, I was born there. And um, I chose Exilia because of the um, internalization. I mean, um, the school is offering a lot of um, experiences. Um, so in other countries, with other people, and in, in different languages, I mean, I was very interested in the fact that the school is, um, has two tracks, so French track for the um, um, locals and English track for the internationals. And yeah, it really makes me feel like um, I could do this school in order to be um, um, to find more possibilities after that. 
And some question for you, Marit, where are you from and why did you decide to study in France and at Excelia Business School? Well, my origin is from India and uh, I have a professional experience before choosing a business school. So it was really a challenging decision for me to come into France. And one of the top reasons I chose Exilia was the uh, WCSB affiliation. And the second main reason is that the curriculum of the program. I have done the MBA and MSc with a specialization of international business management. So the course structure was really uh, amazing. And they focus more on the training and also that's one of the reasons I choose Exilia. And of course, the La Rochelle city where the campus is, is really a student city. It's really very famous for the student, international student. And uh, I have completed a master's in the, from the 2018 batch. And the last year, uh, when I finished my degree, I started my business with my friend, which I found in Exilia too. Mm. Uh, Pascal, in a few words, uh, could you describe the bachelor's in tourism and hospitality at Exilia? Yes, yeah, so the Bachelor in Tourism and Hospitality uh, is delivered on two sites, uh, La Rochelle and Tours. La Rochelle because it's uh, uh, the original, the origin uh, of the creation of Excelia, and because, uh, as you know, La Rochelle is very famous uh, on the Atlantic coast because of the, the city, of course, we, have, we welcome a lot of, touri of tourists. And, uh, of course, in Tours, because, you know, the Château de la Loire, The Loire Valley is very famous for wine and castles, of course. So it's a wonderful laboratory to experiment tourism in France. So uh, the bachelor degree is uh, very international, as Bogdan, you, you said. Uh, we have two tracks, one in French, one in English. And uh, during your three years of study, you will uh, experiment maybe three continents or four continents, so you can uh, On, on, on three years, uh, you can go away and go, in, go abroad uh, on uh, about uh, during uh, quite one year uh, uh, upon, uh, upon three, you can be uh, abroad. Uh, so you, can, you will experiment international uh, experiences, uh, academic experiences, but also internship abroad in our uh, uh, partners. Uh, so we have uh, a lot of uh, business partners in tourism, a lot of companies mm. that uh, also uh, a strong fact about our program. Uh, our objective is to uh, is for our um, graduate to find a job, and uh, almost 100 of the students find a job in less than three than six months. So uh, we are very focused on job. And we're going to talk in a few minutes about the job opportunities. If you're joining us, don't hesitate to ask all your questions about Excelia and the tourism and hospitality field. Uh, we just talked about the bachelor. Can you tell us a few words about the different MSCs you have about in tourism and hospitality? Yes, of course, we have uh, three MSCs uh, regarding uh, uh, the three domain great sector of tourism. So we have uh, destination management in La Rochelle in French and in Tours in English. We have hospitality management, MSC in international hospitality management in La Rochelle. And uh, we have uh, the Master of Science, international event management. So as you see, we, uh, we are teaching also uh, destination, but also uh, hospitality management and event management. Um, Bogdan, what did you find interesting in the fact of studying in the bachelor? Why, why did you choose the bachelor at uh, Excelia? Um, I would say for the experiences. Um, so it's there's a theoretical part, but there is also a practical part, which means uh, internships and um, human missions. Uh, for example, I have done two internships. Uh, one month, three months, and then I have done a, a numerical mission. And um, for it was really the reason that I was interesting because I'm a, a very extrovert person, and I really like to meet new people and have great experience. And um, I, I was also interested in the fact that is the English track because that means um, a lot of international people, and it really it really happened. Um, yeah, almost one quarter of the class was international, so yeah, good contact. And you, Mohit, what, was, um, uh, what did you do at Excelia? What were the different programs that you followed? 
I have studied MBA and MFC with the specialization of international business management. Um, it was the course for the 24 months, and after uh, one year, you have to do the mandatory internship, which one of the reason I really love it, and that's one of the reason I'm doing a business now. And they really have deliberately designed their, uh, like as you see, some there are so many business schools, they just only put the internship, but with the Axelia, they put the internship, and when you work in the particular company, they check you with your performance with your employer, and they also also like how you can want to change. So that's something extraordinary. A lot of business school doesn't do that. And um, because, as you see, like a lot of people want to do the bachelor studies, the master studies, and when they want to go for the corporate company to find a job, so they don't find easily. So when you are having advantage of getting this kind of experience, it also creates to become in the top notch. Yeah. So uh, that's one of the reasons. Yeah. And uh, Pascal, you have different campuses, right? Where are they located? Yes, uh, so uh, for a bachelor in tourism and hospitality, we are located on La Rochelle and, uh, and Tours. And for the Master of Science program in tourism, we are located for the French program uh, destination management in La Rochelle and in, for hospitality management also. And uh, for Tours, we have the MSc program, International Tourism and Destination Management, in 15 months. It could be interesting. And uh, for the BBA program, we are located in La Rochelle and also in Paris in 2021. And you also have the label Bienvenue en France. Can you explain what it is and what it means to have this label? Yes, of course, it's very important because uh, we work very closely with Campus France to welcome international students. We have, uh, we are really a global school. We have uh, 30, we have 30 nationalities in our program in tourism and more about, uh, on Excelia. So we have uh, 30 percent of international students in our schools. So uh, we are very proud to welcome international students. And the, the label, um, the accreditation, the label uh, Bienvenue en France means that if you are an international student, we will put all in place to welcome you, to help you find the uh, accommodation and to uh, introduce you to the business in France. And also, like uh, Bogdan mentioned it or Moit, uh, we will try also to make you experience France, uh, tourism or business in France. And what is, uh, um, uh, what is important also is that you will leave experience linked uh, with uh, the domain you will uh, want to study. Uh, Bogdan, what do you prefer about the fact of being a student at Excelia? Um, I would say um, there are a lot of things, but the, the most thing is that Excelia is providing tools I mean, um, if you are um, uh, smart enough to pick all these tools, you can really have success. I can, for example, give some examples. Um, for example, um, the career center, it's like um, a small office in which they are um, uh, reading your um, your CV or your um, or your let or yes and the fact is that um, there's also a base with uh, all uh, alumni and all internships or missions that have been done so you can access that and then you can make your own network and um, insert yourself easier in the professional life and uh, you also offer a BBA international on different campuses, Pascal, especially in Paris. Can you tell us a few words about that? Yes, we will open our um, campus in Paris for a BBA program. So the BBA program is a very international program because uh, above four years, you will study two years uh, abroad. And uh, you can study in La Rochelle or in Paris in September 2021. So uh, why in Paris? Because you are, we are in international program, and once you're in Paris, you can go uh, and fly, uh, fly above, fly away to to make new experiences. So I will say that the BBA program is a very, very international program with uh, with lot of dense experience uh, in France, but also abroad. 
We're now going to talk about the uh, teaching and learning. How is it uh, concretely to learn and to teach at Excelia? We're going to answer this question, these questions, and we're also going to answer all your questions that you can keep on asking on, on the chat section. Um, Caroline, you're still with us. Uh, can you uh, introduce yourself in few words? You are one of the teacher of the instructor on the campus. I'm still with you indeed. So my name is Caroline O'Neill. I am I'm, I'm a teacher, but I'm also an instructional designer. Uh, I know that many people, um, it's a strange word for many people, but mostly um, it means that I help and support teachers and learners uh, towards, uh, towards learning better in all different types of modules. So this year has been marked mostly by the uh, most of the learning happening online. So that was a big challenge of us this year. And in general, I overview uh, the teaching methods and the learning methods uh, at Excelia. And can you explain a little bit how are the teaching methods in the French business school? How is it to study in a French business school? Is it a lot of theoretical uh, courses with big classes or is it more mm -hmm. practical? Uh, I think actually the French uh, business school method is quite specific. The classes uh, are quite small, as in the groups are quite small compared to uh, university in general. Uh, it's a quite an intense uh, schedule, which means that the students, um, for many different reasons, are um, are solicited to be um, to be like at work every week, uh, all week, every week. Uh, to be working towards learning, um, it's it's very. Um, in one way, it promotes autonomy and group work, but in another way, it also uh, cater uh, a lot of support towards mm. learner. Uh, Pascal, in which languages can you follow the programs of bachelors in tourism and hospitality at Exelia? Uh, I, yes, I think we mentioned it earlier. So for the Bachelors in Tourism and Hospitality, we have an English track and a French track, and it's the same for the BBA program. And what are the different courses? Maybe uh, Bogdan, you can describe a little bit the, the class, the courses you had, uh, you, you, you already had. Um, so I would say at the beginning, like in first or second year, we have more general courses about tourism, um, like tourism economy, like um, accounting. And then um, in my last year, um, I have more specific course depending on my specialization. Um, for example, I had um, uh, travel industry because it was my specialization. And I have, yeah, like um, um, very specific things. Um, marketing, digital marketing, um, uh, yeah. So a lot of different subjects and, and you, Mohit, you, you, you're no longer a student, but what was your favorite class when you remember all the years you spent at uh, Excelia? What was the favorite class or the favorite project you had to conduct? Well, my, I have three favorite subjects uh, if I would like to describe in the last three, uh, two years. It was uh, leadership and management and marketing experience design. And uh, of course, uh, entrepreneurship, because I'm doing a business, it was something very fascinating for me. But like, especially for the marketing design and all, I think there are some courses actually has deliberately designed. And it doesn't matter which field you would like to go, it will be very beneficial. And also like something like to add like on it, they also make some kind of business game program. Like you don't have to study, it's just like a, they are kind of company online and you have to have a power to make a decision for the company and all and it's something which was not promised in the contract for the student and it's something extraordinary they have done so the people who want to do uh, stuff like their business in the future and doesn't have an experience so it can be really really beneficial but doesn't matter whether from uh, not from the financial industry so it was amazing all you at Excelia to give a lot of group projects and to teach by doing to learn by doing for your students uh, yeah. For Caroline, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I believe this is one. Uh, I believe this is one of our favorite uh, teaching and learning method is group work and project work. Um, so um, I think group project is, is a great way to learn. I think we all believe that at Excelia. I think uh, whatever the field, it, it teaches you a very important uh, lesson in life. Is that. Uh, in the future, especially if you're to become a manager, more likely than not, you'll be working with uh, many different people, many different uh, cultures. And uh, if you start group projects, 
uh, in your classes from the beginning. I think it, it, you, you develop throughout the years a skill that's it's indispensable for your future career. And I can give you an example. Yeah, uh, so I think Muji um, uh, mentioned uh, business games. So this is uh, something that we really like to do. So uh, a group of uh, students at answer together to a demand of a real company or uh, a fictional company and they have to come with uh, concrete proposals concrete arguments and they have to convince they have to convince professionals so this is as a group i think this is a very fundamental experience uh, we also do theater we do team building uh, projects uh, but yes at least in every module uh, you'll have at least one group project And how did you adapt the learning experience during the COVID-19 crisis? Uh, that's a great question. <laughs> we're still, we're, we're still, uh, we're still living it at the, <laughs> at the moment. Um, uh, I mean, I think that, so obviously uh, all of the learning happened online. Uh, we, honestly, we kept going uh, as almost as usual. We made sure that all of the, um, the teachers and the learners were trained to use the online tools that um, helped us um, throughout the period. We're still living a hybrid, um, a hybrid mode at the minute. We're only about half of the classes are happening uh, for real. And, and something we did actually for the uh, bachelor's program, for the second year program where we had a lot of international students, we actually um, put in place what we call high, high flex classrooms, where half of the students, the students that could come back physically are in the classroom and the students that uh, are still, that travel to countries where they're not allowed to travel, they're still not allowed to travel, are able to follow synchronously the class. So this is something we're doing with the tourism bachelors at the minute mm. to cater to our international students. And we're now going to talk about the student life. How is it like to study at Excelia? What are the different organizations and stuff and, and that you can do? We're going to talk about that with you, uh, Bogdan. And first of all, where did you uh, study? In which campus did you study? Uh, I was in La Rochelle. And how is it like to live and to study at La Rochelle? I know that it's a really beautiful city. It's the best. It's really the best. <laughs> it's sunny all the time. And yeah, it's, it's wonderful, really. Um, I mean, there are a lot of things to do basically in La Rochelle. And uh, the school is also providing things. For example, there are more than 50 uh, associations. Um, I mean, in different um, um, thematic, like sport, like dance, like um, everything. And you can choose at the beginning of the year, and then you are in your association during all year. Personally, I was in the uh, sport office. And um, concretely, what we are doing is that we are, um, for example, organizing um, sport competitions. Uh, we have, for example, to uh, design logos, because each, um, each team has a name and um yeah like um uh, a specific logo and um, exactly the same as the um, american universities like we have the sharks the tigers in volleyball um the mariners in basketball and yeah there is um the ambience is very very good and yeah also the um i would say um very important events during the year uh, at the beginning and then um there is one event a uh, one big event at least for a month And at the end of the year, there's the big gala, which mm -hmm. is, wow, great. Yeah. And La Rochelle is not that far from Paris. Did you have the opportunity not only to travel to Paris, but to travel a little bit in France to discover the country? Because when you decide to study in France, I think that you want to discover France. Did you have the, did you have the opportunity? I did. I did. Because um, from La Rochelle, I was like, yeah, like three hours in train or four hours and it was quite quite easy to go there but i was more interested to go in the south um so um this region is called um occitanie yeah and yeah i, I go there and it was perfect it was a really beautiful uh, beautiful place um maybe um Mohit, you can describe a little bit the fears you had before coming to, to France, because we know when we are changing a country, country discovering new people, yeah. new life, it can maybe be a little bit frightening. Uh, what were your fears because, before uh, studying in France? Yeah. 
Uh, to be honest, like I was not really scared, but I was very, very curious. Like I came to the Exilia and especially to France with a big expectation. And I choose uh, France over the United States. Like it was something happened in the end. Like I want to go, decided to go for the France. And I have a lot of questions in my mind, like how is going to be my professional future life? How is going to be the future? How is uh, going to be the people over there? Uh, it is the right decision of my life. And I think in the end, like after spending my last three years in France, like this is one of the best decisions ever I made in my life. And uh, I grow like not only just professionally, also like I make a lot of personal growth. And uh, yeah. And Pascal Atukizelia, how do you have the new students arriving in France? What are the different systems that you have? Because we know that it can be sometimes difficult, difficult with all the administrative procedure, the visa procedure. How do you help them? Uh, first of all, thank you to Campus France because we have a strong partnership. So we uh, we manage to uh, to um, to make uh, to make the, the arrival of international students great. So the first thing for me and for us at Ixelia is to make the experience very good and forgettable. So uh, first of all is to welcome our students. We have uh, one week dedicated to uh, welcome to the welcome of our students. And as I told you, and as I told Moit, um, the first thing is to uh, to find accommodation to uh, help you for the visa prior to prior to coming and once you are in uh, la rochelle or in uh, tours or in paris uh, we have uh, a lot of uh, help for students for uh, example the bank account or the fun uh, the fun uh, things so all the details of life that is that are very important in fact for our international students because as you said they do not know uh, sometimes anything of, of France uh, so for a lot of students it's the first time in France so we believe that uh, at Excelia that uh, um, to welcome the international students good and to make them um, to, to integrate them in our uh, city and also in our school is very very important so that's why we have a uh, a full week dedicated to welcome our international students. We're now going to talk about the admission process, how to be a student at Excelia. If you have questions, you can keep on asking them on the chat section. Uh, Pascal, what are the different steps to apply to Excelia? Uh, so first step uh, to, um, to integrate Excelia is of course uh, uh, to make uh, appointment with Corpus France. Uh, to discuss about the visa, but in parallel, you have to uh, to go through the admission process on our website. So uh, our website in, is on the Campus France website, of course. So uh, you have to go through the admission process. The admission process is, uh, first of all, a file you have to fulfill. Uh, so we need some information, of course, about your uh, your courses about uh, uh, the studies you've made. Uh, we have so uh, we have also, in, depending of programs, of some prerequisites, and of course you will have uh, online interviews uh, to confirm that uh, you will be happy in Excelia. So first of all, Campus France, then uh, the file to fulfill, and then uh, uh, an interview. Uh, through our our tools, and uh, and after, of course, you will have to confirm your uh, your integration, your, your application, and then you arrive in uh, our campus at La Rochelle. That's the first day of school. <laughs> or Paris or Tours. <laughs> yeah, of course, all the different campuses. Uh, you just talked about the prerequisites uh, to apply. What are what are there? Yes. So of course, the prerequisite is uh, depend on the on the program you 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 want to integrate. So uh, of course, if you are interested in tourism, you will have to show us interest in tourism. For example, maybe internship or uh, companies in which you work with. Um, if you are interested in finance, you will have to demonstrate uh, some interest in finance, for example, of or but if you want to integrate, for example, the BBA program 
uh, in the bachelor program in BBA, you, uh, you will have to, uh, for example, to demonstrate interest for international and globalization and for the, uh, uh, the global markets. If you are interested in the bachelor tourism and hospitality management, uh, you will have, of course, to demonstrate interest. It depends on the level on which you, you, have, uh, you are an applicant. Okay? We have questions coming from the chat about the prerequisites to apply to Excelia. Uh, Florel yeah. is asking us, what should I do to join this school if I have a tourism technician certificate? Is it a, a diploma that you can uh, show to, 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 to go maybe to the MSc or to the bachelor, a tourism technician certificate? Uh, if I understand technician, I understand uh, if it, uh, indeed that uh, you can integrate the bachelor maybe directly in the third year. Okay. But we have to check, of course, uh, your level of studies regarding your country because it, it may depend on your country. So uh, I will be happy to study your, uh, your application file, Florette. But uh, I, if you have a bachelor degree, you will be able to integrate our Master of Science program. And you have, uh, if you are undergraduate, you will integrate maybe the, you will enter the third year of bachelor or the first year. It depends on the level of the technician degree, in fact. Mm. Another question coming from the same Florel. Uh, do you have the tourist guide specialty? If yes, how to register? Thank you. Uh, do you offer this uh, specialization, uh, tourist guides? Uh, in fact, uh, it, uh, the guide job uh, is very different uh, regarding the law of each country. For example, to be a guide in France, there, we, there are specific uh, diplomas. But to be guide uh, maybe in America or uh, in Morocco, it will be different. So we have a dedicated uh, specialization for that is destination management in Tours. Uh, so, and we have also the travel management specialization in uh, La Rochelle that can help you to design uh, programs, destination programs, or uh, uh, like, uh, like or to be tour operator and to operate some uh, travel around the world. We have a question from Madison for the master's program. Do you accept students with different backgrounds who would like to change their career path to the tourism sector? Is it possible to have, uh, for, instance, uh, for instance, an accountant's a bachelor and to study tourism, tourism after that? Or is it mandatory to have a, a tourism background? Okay, this is a very interesting question. In fact, to enter, to enter the Master of Science degrees, you must have an interest in tourism. So, uh, of course, if you have an accountancy uh, diploma, you will maybe uh, work uh, harder than Bogdan that already knows marketing in tourism, etc. But uh, we have to study your file uh, because it can be, it's very interesting to have students uh, coming from different fields, so to integrate the Master of Science. So when you have uh, a generalist degree in Bachelor in Management, for example, you can, of course, integrate the Master of Science. So I mean, first, curiosity for the sector of tourism, and secondly, uh, the Bachelor level in Management is very important. And we've just talked about an oral uh, interview. Maybe uh, Bogdan can give you can give us uh, some information about that. How was your interview process, and what would be your tips in order to to succeed um, in this interview? I would say mine was a little bit stressful because oh, um, I was alone there. But um, there are some um, students that are ambassadors, and they really helped me feel comfortable. And after that, really, they asked me questions about, about my um, professional project, my background. Um, for example, I'd, uh, I have to say that uh, I'm interested in tourism because I had some, um, some facilities in language. I really like to speak to people, and I had a very good level in English and German. And um, yeah, they, and then I have done the motivational um, yeah, um, interview, and it was quite good. So yeah then I was uh, very, very happy. 
What would be your advice to the people watching us today in order to prepare uh, for this interview? Is it, uh, for instance, necessary to, to prepare the, the first sentences you are going to say during the interview? Is it necessary maybe to know what you want to do after uh, the diploma? What would be your advice, uh, Bogdan? Um, I would say, yeah, that um, it's good to um, know your qualities and try to expose them as best as possible. Because, for example, if you have a project, maybe when you arrive in Excelia, your project will change. So don't focus directly on a, on a thing. I mean, with Excelia, you can do, we can go in all directions. So I would say, um, study your background, what you are good at, what you like, and then try to expose to the jury um, that I'm doing this, I'm doing that, and I'm orienting myself from this. For example, in Excelia, there's also um, a web design bachelor. Mm. If you like to draw, Um, expose the jury that thing that you, you are interested in that and maybe in your uh, bachelor you will um, for example like marketing and like promote things so I will encourage students to do this yeah uh, Pascal is it possible to join Excelia in January yes of course it's possible for many programs so uh, for example uh, in bachelor in tourism and hospitality program it's possible uh, to integrate in the first year In January, absolutely. Okay, and if you want more information, of course, you can go to the website yeah. of Exilia. Uh, we're now going to talk about the professional world and the international world. Uh, let's begin with the professional world. Uh, Pascal, is this uh, mandatory to do internships during the degree? And how many internships do the student have to do? Yes, as Bogdan told, uh, and Moit also, the experience is very important for our school. So uh, during a three years program, like Bachelor in Tourism and Hospitality, we'll spend uh, almost uh, one year in experience abroad or in France uh, as a, in, in internship. And in the BBA program, you will spend uh, one month, uh, one, one year, uh, one year and a half almost uh, uh, in internship. So. Uh, the professional world and the mix of experience between theoretical courses, practical courses with professionals uh, and uh, internship is very appreciated by uh, the professional world. Also, I would like to insist on our humanitarian mission. This is called Humacité. This is really, really our, uh, uh, how to say, our uh, uh, strength in La Roche, in Excelia. Uh, because uh, since 10 years uh, we have been uh, we have launched this program 10 years ago and uh, we have made almost 4000 missions humanitarian missions that's a lot and clearly in ch it changes it changes uh, the student it changes the student it changes the student and uh, it offers the student a unique experience of humility of engagement of uh, and and the opportunity to impact the society So um, it will make you better, it will mm. make the student better. So I think it's very interesting also uh, to have this, to have this uh, experience on uh, the resume of the student. Uh, Caroline, how do you help uh, your students to find uh, internships opportunities? Uh, I think as um, our student uh, Bogdan mentioned earlier, um, we've actually Um, a whole a whole department uh, dedicated to supporting the students uh, towards um, finding opportunities, um, wh wh whichever kind of opportunities. So we also have a, a career center. Um, uh, students are invited to join workshops where they uh, work on their employment skills. They work on writing CVs and resumes. Um, and it's really based on autonomy also, hoping that the students find uh, within themselves um, the, the goal to go and work towards employment skills. And maybe, Marit, you can describe a little bit the internships you had the opportunity to do when you were a student. What internship or internships, in plural, did you do, Marit? Well, uh, I have completed my master's with a specialization of international business management, as I explained before. So I have to do like a two mandatory internship, like in the both two years. So first, according to the specialization, you have to go. So I I was having another project in my mind, like for my, because like Bagdan has explained, like sometimes what do you expect and the things get changed after a year or two years. 
So I discussed in a career center, like Karun explained. So in the career center, they have a specific country wise, like a member, like for Spanish, for especially for the uh, Germany. So for me, I have done my internship in the luxury rental business, for the, especially for the concierge. Mm -hmm. I have done my internship in Spain, in the Ibiza Island. And uh, for that, all the, of course, as an international student, you have a lot of challenges for your visa process and like how you're going to finance. So they actually help you for all. Uh, they have like they're gonna guide you like how you can get the benefit from the Erasmus. How they you don't have to worry even about the visa, and they they already have a specialized uh, specialized person sitting there. They will guide you that you also need to do this thing for the visa process. So I think it's something extraordinary. And uh, as a setting in the business school, whether you want to be a good manager, whether you want to be an entrepreneur, it's really important to have international experience and to work in the international environment. If you cannot work in that like you cannot be a good manager you cannot satisfy your client and what did you do after you graduated uh well uh during the last year for my degree like i have done rather than doing the internship i done my full-time job on the cdd contract in the finance and audit advisory so i really want to take an experience in the french company and especially i was very much interested for the finance and the sea so after um, last year i seen with the covid opportunity i quit my job before the contract and uh, my friend with my friend i started my business and uh, i started for the uh, <laughs> congratulations <laughs> yeah thank you Oh yeah, yeah, you were, you were, you were talking. I'm sorry, you, you were explaining how you quit your job, how then you, you began your own company, and you're, you're the CEO of the company. What do you do exactly in your yeah. company? Like exactly, we rent luxury properties in Côte d'Azur, specialization with all over the France, and we are look, uh, keep expanding. We have a properties in the Greece and Spain and Monaco, and we also provide the luxury services like a yacht, private jet, etc. And we are trying to create, like, as France is already dominating in the sustainability, and my, with my friend, uh, Mr. Alexand, like, who's done also the graduation from uh, Exilia, and, uh, and thanks to Exilia that we met together, and we're trying to make something like a responsible tourism. So in the coming time, like, uh, every year, we try to also compensate to the environment when the people who are traveling. And Caroline, it's uh, also possible to study a part of the programs abroad uh, in uh, a partner university. How does it work? Uh, uh, is it uh, possible to, to, to go each year uh, in another country? Um, so it doesn't work exactly like that. Okay. I think the first thing that we need to say is that you have there's some programs where uh, what we call academic expatriation is compulsory. So, uh, for example, in the bachelor's in tourism and hospitality in second year, the academic expatriation is part of how the pro how the program is constructed. So in the, in that case, uh, what we do is we work together with the different services and department uh, for you to find a host at university. University where you can um, uh, where you can study for most part of your second year. So um, in this case, is very much um, accompanied and and uh, supported by the school. There are also uh, cases where if you're extra motivated, you can also ask uh, to do an uh, academic expatriation, but that's outside of the uh, let's say classic uh, course uh, construction. And in the BBA program uh, that we mentioned earlier, the third year is also a uh, compulsory academic expatriation. So in those cases, you don't, I mean, it's part of the program, it's part of the deal when you sign up, uh, when you sign up at Excelia. <laughs> and uh, to be fair, I think it's one of probably the best things about those programs is that uh, it's a given that you're going to have a full on full immersion experience in a different country and you're going to come out of it pretty much uh, speaking the language of the of the universe of the uh, country you decided to go to so that's definitely a plus that's really really interesting we're going to conclude with the question of career and then careers in plural uh, and to 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 begin with this uh, thematic uh, we have a question from fiona uh, is it easy to the foreigners uh, to find a job in france if they want to work and stay over there after they have completed master program in france uh, pascal is it possible for your international student to stay in France and to find job opportunities after they graduated? Uh, so we have an example right here with Moit. Uh, Moit created his job. So uh, <laughs> it's uh, one thing that is possible. 
about 10% of our students uh, create their own job. So uh, the thing is that in France, you have to, to speak a little, a little bit of French. So uh, it's, it's important that uh, at Excelia, you will have also uh, French language courses for uh, foreign students. And, uh, and you have to be really implicated in these courses because it could be very interesting to speak a little French to work in French companies. But of course, you have French companies in which you speak English only. So uh, you have to, you will be helped uh, by the career center, as Bogdan told uh, uh, previously. You will, have, you will be helped by our career center to find internship in international companies. But I think the, the one point that is important, if you come in France, you have to take the opportunity to, uh, to uh, discover the French language and, of course, to improve your level of French. Mm. And uh, living uh, a student life in La Rochelle or Tours or Paris, of course, you will improve your English. Even Moit, uh, your friend, sorry. Even Moit speak a little French now. That's cool. That's cool. That's really, really cool. And that's important to know that if you want to work in the French market, it's better to speak French. Sometimes you can work in international context, but I mean, with your colleagues and all the people and all the different directors who you can have, it's better to speak French. But Excelia helps the students uh, to to improve or to or to create their uh, French skills. Uh, a few words about uh, the job opportunities. Uh, let's begin first with the Excelia Tourism and Hospitality School graduates. Uh, what are the different job opportunities that they can have and for which salary? Yes, so uh, we are among the level average salaries uh, post-bachelor. So uh, it's almost, uh, you begin at uh, uh, 22, 25,000 uh, euros per year. It depends, of course, of the country. In fact, uh, 30% of our students begin their uh, professional life uh, uh, abroad, uh, outside of France. So, so this is important to know. And uh, yes, it's, uh, and you can work in tourism, in uh, hospitality management, in event management, in destination management. So uh, this is a very large field of job uh, in tourism. And for the graduates of the BBA International, what are the different job opportunities and what are the different salaries that uh, you can uh, pretend? Yes, of course, the BBA program, it's a four years program. So uh, you will have average salaries amongst uh, uh, 28,000 uh, euros and 30,000 euros. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, a lot of them will work uh, abroad. So, uh, and their career will be, uh, as it's a program uh, inside you, in which you will uh, uh, work uh, with a global view on the markets, you can work uh, in France for uh, external markets, for exports, or, or you can work abroad as business developer, for example. So you can work in French or international companies abroad. So this is very, these are very interesting jobs linked with the international, international trade, global trade. And uh, Bogdan, what do you want to do after you graduate? After you are going to graduate, do you already know in which field, in which kind of jobs, in which position you are going to work? Uh, yeah, I have some ideas because um, I got some uh, answers to my questions during my internships. My first internship was one month and I have, um, I have been in a four-star hotel. And then in my second uh, military internship, I level up and I go in a uh, five-star hotel. And uh, I really like the hospitality industry. And I associated with marketing in third year because I really like this, um, um, the work we did. And I would like to go in a, in a master, uh, in a marketing master, because I would like maybe in the future to yeah, um, advertise hotels or, um, or um, travel companies. Uh, because, yeah, it's something that I really like and I think the, the, there's a huge market over there. And we wish you the best for the, 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 the following part of your life. Pascal, we're now at the end of uh, this uh, Campus France Live. What would be your last um, advice, your last sentence for the audience watching us today? Uh, my last advice is to be yourself and uh, to dare 
uh, what you want to do and to be what you want to, what you are ready. So uh, in Excelia, we will help you, we will help international students to uh, define their project. Uh, as Bogdan said, uh, the different, the many, uh, the variety of experiences you will be, uh, uh, you will discover in Excelia will help you to define your professional project. So this is very important, and this is uh, uh, why we why we work. Uh, we work in order to uh, help students to find their professional project. And uh, I would like to remind that uh, Excelia, since 30 years, is really engaged in sustainable development. This is very important for the world of tomorrow, in tourism or in global trade. Um, anyway, so Excelia is very attached to uh, a humanitarian project and environment project and globally sustainable development. So we will help you also to define your project uh, regarding uh, the new stakes of tomorrow. Thanks a lot, Pascal, Caroline, Bogdan and Mohit for having been with us today and for having answered to all the questions of the chats. And thanks to you for having watched us. If you still have questions, don't hesitate to ask them on the chats on Facebook, YouTube, uh, LinkedIn and Twitch. Uh, the team of Excelia are, is going to answer all of your questions. And don't hesitate to visit the website of Excelia. See you soon on Campus France Live.